Hi there, I'm Clint. I'm Jonathan. We're the internet marketing consultants at Page One Solutions, and we're here today to talk about the basics of search engine optimization. The search engines evaluate your website based on lots of criteria, uh, but the three main ones are relevance by keywords, uh, content, and links. Today we're going to be talking about relevance. Uh, relevance is what search engine optimization is all about. Uh, SEO, or search engine optimization, uh, goes over every page of your website and shows the search engines that those pages are relevant to the search phrases that your potential clients are doing out there on the uh, internet. So uh, the, that's step one, is establishing the keyword phrases that you want to target with SEO. Your keyword list needs to be complete. You want to have a keyword phrase for everything that you do. Um, but you don't want your keyword list to be bulk, or, you know, bogged down by all these different keyword phrases that really no one ever searches. That's a great point, Jonathan. Well, you want your list to be lean because if you have a lot of keywords, you're going to dilute your results for all your keywords instead of getting very good results for your most important keywords. You know, it does you no good to show up on the first page for search terms that no one searches for and there's no traffic for. Once you've targeted your keywords, it's time to get the website ready to go for optimization. It's very rare that we get a website that's ready to go straight into SEO. Usually there's some content missing or the website's outdated uh, in terms of its design or it's just not programmed in a format that's compatible with SEO. It's really important to get all those things taken care of because if you try to go into search engine optimization with a website that's fundamentally flawed, you're just not going to get the results that you're looking for. Once the website's ready to go, it's on to optimization. Your search engine optimization specialist will review your keyword list and then go page by page optimizing your website. Now to understand what the search engine optimization person is optimizing for, first we need to understand what Google is looking for. Let's go ahead and take a look at Google and do some searching on the web. All right, let's go ahead and do a search on Google. Let's do a search for Washington DC truck accident attorney. Now Chaikin and Sherman is one of our clients out in Washington DC. What I want to show you is a couple things here. Notice how his truck accident page actually showed up before his, his home page. Now to figure out why that is, let's go ahead and click on the cached version of a website. Now basically what this is letting us know is Google goes out, or any other search engine, goes out and finds the most relevant content or pages relevant to our search criteria. So we typed in Washington DC truck accident attorney. So this is Google's representation of the content that's on this page. Now notice all the occurrences of these keywords. Now there are some black hack tactics out there that people will just litter the page with all these key terms and it actually will look spammy in the eyes of the search engine and it can hurt your search results and even get you kicked off the search engines. Now a couple other points. Let's just go into the actual truck accident page without that. First thing I want to show you is the title tags. The title tag is up above the page right here, Washington DC truck accident lawyers. This is the first thing that Google sees or reads to let it know what this page is about. Now the other, this is what we, now below here, this is the H1 tag or header tag. It's also in reference to its title tag. It really lets the search engines know what this page is about. The second thing is your H2 tag, which we put your localizations in it lets the search engines know where you're located. It also does something for the consumer. When a consumer lands on your page, the first thing it, they do is kind of scan the page and make sure what they typed in is the information that they're getting from your page. Let's take, now to show you bad examples, let's take a website. Now this website here, we, let's just take the title tags. The title tag up here, Houston, Texas personal injury, serious truck, automobile accident. It's very cluttered and not lean. Um, also, the title tag here is not, or, or the H1 tag here is, is not bad, but again, it, it's a little cluttered. Now, to see a little bit better reference to this and to take a look at um, meta tags, 
let's check out the source code. Now you can do the source code from anywhere on the website. You can right click and go to view source or page source. You can also go to view page source and you can do this on any website. Now as we go through here, here's the title tag and here's those keywords that, that we're talking about. The other thing is here's his meta tags and keywords. Now notice how cluttered this is and, and all these different keywords in here. Google doesn't really know what this page is about. It, it has so many different reference points. And also look at the descriptions about this page. 500,000 trucking collisions every year. It's very cluttered. Um, trial lawyers, um, truck accidents in Texas. There's just a lot here for Google to get through. Now let's take a look at our client's website and let's do the same thing. Let's look at view source. Now notice here's the title tag. Washington DC truck accident lawyer. Very concise. Here's the description. Truck accidents. Um, very concise. And also here's the keywords that we're targeting for this page. Washington DC truck accident lawyer, Virginia, Maryland. Again, very lean and concise. The search engines know what this page is about. Now there are many other optimization techniques, but these are just the basics. Once all this work is done, then we move on to step number five, which is where we submit the website to all the search engines, Yahoo, MSN, and most importantly, Google. We also submit the website to other smaller search engines, basically to help drive traffic and build momentum on the other search engines. Step number six of the basic search engine optimization steps is to track your results and modify your strategies accordingly. This is an example of one of our reports that we send to our clients every single month. Down the left hand side you'll see the list of keyword phrases that we have for the client and then across the top are the top 17 search engines. Where those intersect you'll see either a one in the box or the box is empty. The one signifies that we found the website on the first page for that search engine and an empty box means it just wasn't there. Uh, this report gives you an accurate depiction of where you are in the process of search engine optimization. It also is a measure of an accountability. Um, you know, the clients then get to see where it's working and where it's not. And we use these reports to focus in on uh, what keyword phrases need more help. So let's review. Uh, the basic steps of search engine optimization are number one, identify target keyword phrases. Number two, ready the site for SEO. Number three, optimize the title and header tags. Number four, optimize the meta tags. Number five, submit the site to the search engines. And six, track results and modify strategies. Search engine optimization is just the beginning. In most markets, success requires a more aggressive campaign that builds on the foundation of SEO. Unless you're in a very small market, don't be duped by promises of great results with just the most basic techniques. Remember, no, no matter how inexpensive the campaign, if it doesn't get good results, it's still expensive marketing. So today we've covered relevance in search engine optimization. Next time we talk, we'll be talking about content and how important content is to your website. We hope you found this video very helpful and we appreciate your time. Also, if you'd like to talk more in detail about your project, we'd love to hear from you. And we promise our conversation will be honest and educational. And remember, at page one, we guarantee first page results. Thanks. Thank you.